What's good guys, Command the Gun here. <clears throat> this is the final review I will be doing today. I've recorded today the Denim LeBrons. Denim LeBrons, what am I saying? Uh, denim, denim Air Maxes. Uh, the Mysons, the Lowe's, the LeBrons, and these, which are <clears throat> a shoe that... I don't know how I felt about these, you know? Pictures really didn't make these look nice. In person, I don't really know how I feel about them, but this is the box that came in. And this is how they came in packaged too. Um, that's another receipt. See, you know, normal stuff. But I didn't show how the Air Maxes, the the denim ones, the burnished denims came in. But this is basically how they came in. Um, they came in like wrapped like this. You know, take it out. You know, extra paper, shoe. But uh, this is basically how they came in, and uh, I don't know, I bought these with the intention of, you know, buying them for me. I didn't buy these to sell, but uh, I don't know, guys, these are weird. It's definitely not a shoe for everyone, I can tell you that right now. The color is just, I don't know, man, it's a little bit weird, but uh you got you guys will be able to tell. I mean I don't really gotta say much, but just let that seep in in person. Let me adjust the camera angle. There you go. Alright, contrast seems to be good. So uh let's start off the review. Um I don't know guys, this is this shoe just looked very nice in pictures. This honestly looked a lot. I mean a lot like gray. This I mean I just realized it's a mahogany, but these are the uh burnished leather Air Maxes. These did retail for 170, but I did not get them for 170. Um what did I got them for. Yeah, okay, I, I got them for 144.50 shipped. That's what I did get them for. But um, <clears throat> these retailed for for $170 normally, and even though some of these I actually justified with what the shoe offers. Um, just give you a quick 360 review. I might make this review a little bit longer than the past two. But um, I don't know if you guys can just tell the quality on the shoe is just insane like I don't know how you guys would be able to tell that but like this leather really does crinkle and it, it's just a really nice leather too um the way this leather is made I believe is a little bit different process than most leathers that Nike does uses um before, before we continue let me just explain that a little bit um the way this leather is made is actually how it's it says it's called burnished leather and, you know I'm, I'm not really you know like a meteorologist in, in leathers but I believe that this leather is pretty much kind of made the same way like uh, of a cheddar leather or a cheetah whatever you want to call it but it, it's made the same way it's 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 kind of like how it's used on a high-end purses but it, it's fabricated through a different way and I don't think that this leather is processed as much you know as a regular full grain leather because, you know, on, on most Jordans, like GRs and stuff, they use split green leathers. Full green leathers were used, like, on, like, you know, the new remastered series that are, cause is going to come out. Those are, I think, full green leathers being used. It's softer green leathers actually not being cut in half. Whereas, um, <clears throat> split greens are. So, anyway, like, full green leathers are processed still differently. And that's how you make them get their color, you know, make them tumble, make them soft, it, 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 whatever way it is. This is the exact same way. I just don't think it's processed as much. That's why this leather is a little bit weird, but it's very soft. It's similar it's similar um to the way that how the uh, cigars were made, but cigars I think were made also differently. They're not the same leather. They are full grain, but it's not it's not burnished in the way this is cuz I think burnish is its own little classification. Um but you guys can see like this leather is just really soft. It's it looks honestly a lot like a purplish gray in person. But um this is the type of leather that if you like scratch it a bit, 
that's that's as far as it'll get it, it's a lot like the Jeter ones I've seen these in person and it's a lot like them I don't have them in person because I didn't get them which I'm still pissed because I got a pair in my car and guess what I wasn't able to check out but it's all good Nike that just pretty much means I won't be getting my pair ever for retail and I'm not gonna definitely pay the five hundred dollars the people are asking for them but um this is pretty much a regular Air Max 90 with the exception of the lunar lunar foam this is a hyper crimson not an infrared I believe actually hold on let me let me get the denim ones yeah this is definitely a different color um I don't know well you guys are gonna be able to tell that but this is more darker this is more lighter so you guys look at these look at these definitely tell that this is more this is more like a lighter a lighter color actually no that's the infrared is more like a dark color honestly it's weird but um yeah this is I think this is a hyper crimson and this foam is really you know, soft it's lunar long it should come to expect you have your black air air max unit it's a 180 unit of course you have a black air max done right there can see leather on the tongue basically the same thing as you know the rest of the shoe um the la the laces are waxed and this is a little thing i gotta fix i gotta cut that it's a little strand but oh well the inside this is i just love when nike does this on shoes this is a new buck guys this is really soft this is a new buck lining I love it when brands do this, and the, even the insole. Here, get that. But even the insole. Ah, you got, again, I won't be able to show that unless I take it out. I don't really want to take it out though. But um, <clears throat> the insole also is a is a is a new book insole. It's insane. Like this this shoe has leather and suede everywhere. Um, let me just show you guys what the other one looks like. I have Air Max right there. Like here in the back, right here, also done. This little tab is done in leather. Now, guys, like everything about the shoes, just really nice. I don't think these sold out, honestly, instantly. They might have sold out for a quick second, then they restocked them. In pairs that, because I got these from Nike.com, I almost dropped it. And I think the Air Max one did sell out, but I think the Air Max one has like darker upper. It 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 does online say it's the same color, but. It, it might be a darker upper um i don't know how you guys feel about these honestly i think they're personally like after having them in person you know letting letting them seep in a bit i like them more now but um i don't know it's definitely it's definitely a shoe that i will be wearing you know more with you know better clothes i'm not just gonna wear any any clothes um it's definitely something i would you know use like on a on the night or something that I'm going out with my, you know, girlfriend or something, which I don't have, <laughs> but, um, it's definitely something that I could be done that way, um, I don't know, the, this shoe just screams quality, and the price I got it for, 145 or 144 with 50 you know, shit, that, that's a pretty good price, honestly, you're getting more than what I paid for here, I know, I know that a lot of you don't really like this kind of stuff, but, I like it. I like anything that screams quality. That's why I have like two Balenciagas and more to come. So, um, <clears throat> enjoy the review, guys. Uh, all my contact information is down below. Uh, and you guys can contact me through Instagram. That's the best way you can contact me. Um, also, you guys can leave any comments on YouTube. And I might not respond to them like, like that. But it, I do see them. It might take me like three four days up at, at most because i've been doing a lot of school work right now i've been absent a lot so i gotta make up a lot of that work um but uh i do read them so just be patient with me and uh that's pretty much it guys enjoy the review peace